L-methionine or methionine is an essential amino acid and it's found in the body and it's used to make proteins and peptides. It's found in meat, fish and dairy products as well as in nuts and grains. Think protein foods and you'll likely find methionine. Methionine provides an important role relating to the growth of new blood vessels. While the body produces its own, supplementing with L-methionine has been shown to help to heal wounds and those who are experiencing Parkinson's, drug withdrawals, schizophrenia, radiation, copper poisoning, asthma, allergies, alcoholism, liver damage and depression. While those are all good things, it's not uncommon to have too much methionine in the standard American diet. But let's understand how it works. The human body uses L-methionine to make creatine, another type of amino acid. Additionally, L-methionine contains sulfur, which is used by the body for healthy growth and metabolism, and it's responsible for a compound known as S-adenosylmethionine, or SAME, and this supports the proper functioning of the immune system, neurotransmitters like dopamine, serotonin and melatonin, and the cell membranes. According to the Melbourne Colorectal Cancer Study that was conducted in Melbourne, Australia, methionine along with B vitamins and other minerals can help to reduce the risk of colorectal cancer. The study observed that the foods that were eaten as well as the micronutrients like folate, methionine, B6, B12 and those with antioxidant properties like selenium, vitamin E and vitamin C and lycopene all helped. Though the tests studied the many vitamins, minerals and amino acids individually, overall the data supported the conclusion that a diet containing all of these micronutrients, including the methionine, can help to lower the colorectal cancer risk. The study was conducted on 11 patients who had untreated Parkinson's disease. The participants were treated with L-methionine for periods of two weeks to six months, and they showed improvements in akinesia and rigidity, resulting in fewer tremors than usual. This shows that the methionine may be beneficial in treating Parkinson's symptoms. Additionally, the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research indicates that further studies are being conducted regarding the evidence that a part of the antioxidant enzyme system specifically methionine, can play a role in the prevention of ageing related to oxidative damage and loss of dopamine, ultimately providing a potential treatment for Parkinson's disease. Methionine can help athletic performance and even weight loss due to its effects on the bones. To better understand how methionine and endurance exercise affects the body, the researchers at the Institute of Physical Education, Health and Leisure Studies at National Cheng Kung University in Taiwan gave rats different diets, some with L-methionine foods and others without. After an eight-week period, the exercise trained subjects had 9% lower body weight, which is no surprise given that exercise can help anyone to lose weight. Moreover, part of what became evident was that there is an effect on the bone volume, bone mineralization and bone mineral content when compared to the subjects who were fed a diet without the methionine supplementation. The results indicate that the methionine combined with endurance exercises caused lower whole bone mass size and or strength, but it enhanced the natural bone strength overall. This may be why there's a claim that it can help with athletic performance. Creatine is a substance that comes from methionine, and creatine can not only help to improve athletic performance, but also the body's ratio of muscle to fat. More research is needed in this area, but one study of 14 high-performance male adult judo athletes evaluated the contribution of their energy systems using oxygen uptake and blood lactate measurements. The results showed an increase in performance, which is thought to be due to the creatine effects during the intervals, and it could be because of the loss in the weight resulting in a better muscle to fat ratio. The Journal of Neuroscience conducted a study on rats who were induced with cocaine and how methionine could make a difference in the addictive qualities of the drug. When the subjects were given methionine, it blocked the effects of the cocaine, making it less addictive than without the methionine. While more research is needed, 
This may indicate that L-methionine can help those who are dealing with withdrawals by slowly lowering the effects and by helping people kick the addiction or even help to prevent addiction in the first place. The American Society of Nutrition reports that evidence indicates that methionine metabolism can affect alcohol liver disease. Liver disease is more prominent in areas of the world where there's a problem with malnutrition, but it's also a problem everywhere when it comes to alcohol abuse. However, research points to the ability of methionine, specifically S-adenosyl methionine or SAME, when combined with folate and vitamin B6 and B12 to possibly treat the effects of liver disease. How much methionine you need can depend on a lot of things, such as how much other amino acids that you might be getting. According to the World Health Organization, some average daily needs. For children aged 2 to 5, 27 milligrams per kg per day. For children aged 10 to 12, 22 milligrams per kg per day. For adults 18 plus, 13 milligrams of methionine per kg per day. Check out my video on the MTHFR gene polymorphism. As if you have this condition and you're an undermethylator or an overmethylator, it will alter your daily requirements for B vitamins and methionine and other supplements. For more information about supplements, nutrition or health conditions, check out my website.